Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about all of the books I read in the month of September. It is only September 29th right now. However, I don't feel like I'm going to finish another book in like the next day. And if I do, I'll just include it on my October um, wrap up and let you um, know about that. So a little bit of my stats for September. I finish. Oop. I'm on the wrong page in my bullet journal where I keep track of all of this. I finished five physical books, two ebooks, and two audiobooks. And I also finished three of the five books on my September TBR. So let's start with my let's start with my audiobooks and ebooks and end with my physical books this time, mixed up a little bit. So the first audiobook that I finished in the month of September was Nothing More to Tell. This is one I started in August and I finished up pretty early on in September. This is a Karen and Karen M. McManus um, book. I love listening to her books on audio. I enjoy all of them and it was a great time. That little like mystery thriller, young adult mystery thriller. And then the next book that I listened to on audiobook and finished was Fate Breaker. This is one I had had on hold at Libby for a while. And I also have a physical copy that I won in a Goodreads giveaway. Um, but because I had listened to the previous two books on audio, I like to finish out a series the way that I started it. So I listened to that one on audio. It's also a very long book. Um, so those were the two audiobooks I listened to. Um, then I read two ebooks. I finally finished What the River Knows, which I've been working on since April. Um, I liked the concept of this book. I did not like the book itself. It just didn't really click for me. Um, and then I also read The Things We Leave Unfinished, which this is a book that I can't stop thinking about. It was so good, so well written. There was a twist that happens in this book, or multiple twists that happen in this book that I didn't see coming until they were happening. So I thoroughly enjoyed it, that. And then now onto the five physical books that I read. I don't have one of them. So I'll pop a picture up here um, because it was a library book and I returned it. So that was Daisy Jones and the Six. And I enjoyed that book. I really like the style of writing. It's written like an interview. So that was really enjoyable and different. And I feel like some of the other books that I read this month also had a different writing style. For example, the latest one I just finished was Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone. And this is written in first person. But the author is talking to you as a reader. So it was like a very interesting writing style. Um, it's a mystery and I enjoyed it because I haven't read the like good, like true mystery, just like plain mystery book in a while. So that was a really fun read. Um, I also reread one of my favorite books of all time, The Fall of Marigolds. I love the storytelling in this book. I love this author. Um, I've enjoyed all of her books that I've read uh, and it was just a great time to reread this book and nothing more to say about it. Five star read. A book that I didn't enjoy reading but I needed to read was When Everyone Leads. This was um, is the book for my book study group. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I gave this like a one star. I didn't feel like this book gave me any actionable information. It was very much of like saying the same thing over and over um, in a different way, kind of. Um, this is the definition of a book that could have been an email. And the last book that I read in 
September was Namesake. This was also a reread for me. Um, this book I enjoyed rereading and as I reread I was able to kind of remember that storyline and actually if you take a peek I have a companion novel to this duology on my October TBR. So that is everything that I read in the month of September. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!